Morning guys! So I really need your opinion on something. Let me just flip the camera around to show you. I need you. your opinion on this jacket. Um, I bought it from Primark yesterday for £25, which I was like, ooh, but like it, a coat is an investment, isn't it? So I really like it. It's in a size 8. Um, I kind of wish that it was a bit small. I'm not really a fan of big baggy things and you can see like how much material is there and there's no like belt loop or anything like that to cinch it in i'm not sure if i would prefer like a much more fitted coat i think this makes me look really big i don't know maybe i'm just being silly um i like the length on it i like the feel of it and i like the pockets on it and stuff like that but what i didn't realize is that it had this neck here so I'd have to wear a scarf always with it if I was going to keep warm. So what sort of colour scarf would I wear with it for a start? Um, it's got like poppers here, um, which you can't see when you've got the coat on, which I like. I do like that, but I, I'm not fussed on like a toggle or a big button or anything like that. But I think that poppers just last longer on coats. But yeah, what do we think? I'm not sure if it's flattering or... Um, do you, you can see what I mean though, like there's a hell of a lot of spare material there. Yeah, I just think it would look much more classy if it was like cinched in at the waist a bit more. I don't, I don't know. It's the, I've never really worn a coat ever really. I've always worn fleeces, outdoor, waterproof jackets and cardigans and cardigans are an absolute push that's a recent thing for me as well I've always just been embracing the cold I'm not really fussed about the cold but as I've gotten older I am so yeah need your opinions I'm holding a poll on Twitter so I'll leave my Twitter name down below so if you could go ahead and vote on that I think that's open for like another four or five days as well um but yeah let me know in the comments down below as well Hey guys, so we've just come out of rhyme time now. Um, it's 19 minutes past 10 in the morning. And I'm just popping to Tesco to quickly pick up some snacks and supplies like fruit and bread and stuff because we are on our way to my friend Natalie's house. Um, I met Natalie about a year ago when I was doing that office work in the hospital which is pretty cool and we sort of like remained in contact ever since and um, I set her up to do a photo shoot with the photographer that I use for my photo shoots so that's on Sunday I was supposed to be going along with her sort of like for moral support etc but my brother's coming down this weekend now so I'm unable to go with her so I'm just going to pop over to her house this morning to sort of like give her a pep talk and see if there's any questions that she wants to ask me about etc and give her some advice on like makeup and stuff like that and what to wear etc so it'd be pretty cool so she's got a daughter a four year old called Destiny so it'd be good for Holly and her to play together and so I thought that I would go to Tesco and pick up some stuff so I'm not going completely empty handed because it's getting on, it will be lunchtime nearly by the time we get there. So I wanted to take some bread and stuff like that so Holly can have a sandwich or some toast or something. So yeah, that's what we're up to. Hey guys, so let's bring you up to speed. I went to my friends, I think I was car vlogging when I told you that I was going to be doing that. So that was really enjoyable, lovely catch up with her. Um, she didn't really have any dresses that were suitable, but the lingerie side of things were great, so that's good. So maybe she can pop out tomorrow and buy a dress. Um, just sort of like briefed her about like how to do her makeup and stuff like that. Not that she can't do makeup, it's just like, um, it kind of makeup a little bit differently when you're having a photo shoot, I suppose. 
and then we came home, did my walk really quickly because I was expecting my brother to be here like when we got home, but he left Oxfordshire at one o'clock this afternoon and is actually stuck in Cardiff. So when I rung him, I think he was um, in between like Cardiff and Talbot or something like that. So like what is about a three to three and a half hour journey has turned into five hours plus. Um, so we were gonna go to the fireworks this evening, but obviously now we can't. So now I'm gonna go and do my food shop instead. And I would car vlog on the way, but it's pitch dark outside. Anyway, I will catch up with you later.